Guys, what is up? I'm so sorry it's been so long. I had to dip for a minute. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on, so I guess let's just get into it, right? So um, I do apologize again, and um, I thank you guys for being patient with me. It was just all too much. Everything was just too much. Like, I could, I just couldn't deal with all of it and, like, be a mom and, like, a wife and, like, try to, like get it together over here, you know what I'm saying, so I needed to pause, and then, okay, so yeah, let me get into it, so I, you know, deal with anxiety and depression in the flesh, right, so, you know, basically for two weeks, I've been fighting to remain in the spirit mentally, while my body is going full out, you know, flesh fighting against the spirit, like having physical manifestations of anxiety. So like in the, in my mind, I'm like standing on the truth and standing on God's word and like, no, like my God is good, blah, blah, blah. But my body is like, I don't care what you say. I'm still going to have chest pain. I'm still going to have your heart racing. I'm still going to make you feel like you're dying basically and make you feel like you're about to pass out or whatever and go crazy against your spirit. So I've been fighting with that, which is very uncomfortable, and um, you're not able to sleep, and um, I also get really quiet, and I isolate during times like this because I don't know what to say, and I get very awkward and weird because it's just, you, you know, you're going through a lot, dude, Go, and I know a lot of you guys are, are, feel me on that one, so um, I'm not saying it's any better, um, it's like the fight is still there, but I did, man, let me tell you. God is good, and he's faithful, and I I just, I was like, Lord, please just remind me, just remind me, like, of what I'm forgetting here, and he reminded me that I'm, I was, for, I'm forgetting his goodness, and I'm forgetting to look for his goodness everywhere, and um, Satan was really throwing everything at me, and he really is, because his time is short, guys, and that's what he's doing, and he's trying to make the saints tired, okay, and so I needed a minute, and I couldn't come on here and talk to you guys, because if I did, I wasn't in the right mindset, and I wouldn't have said things appropriate to what you should be hearing from my mouth, which is things that God wants to edify you with, and he wants you to know that he's good, and that he's always been good, and that even in this pandemic that we're going through, he's, it's only happening because he's merciful. You guys realize he's coming back so soon, okay? I don't know what soon is, but he is, and I'm not looking at this as a bad thing anymore. I, like, can't wait because this world is getting so bad. I mean, I used to be I used to be sad about the rapture, I'm not going to lie. I used to be like, I want to meet my grandkids, and I want to watch my kids grow up, and I want, you know, but now as I see the world crumble before me, it's like, Lord, come get us. Like, please get us. Rapture us now. Oh, I find myself saying that like 30 times a day. Um, but I see his goodness in this. Guys, so many people that have built up their own empire with their wealth and their stuff and their distractions with entertainment and sports and work and money and all this crap that we always used as excuses. Believers and non-believers use as excuses as to why we are separated from God. God is severing all of that off so that there is no more excuse anymore. Now is the time to reconcile. This is the age of reconciliation between us and God through his son, Jesus Christ. And I know that most, most of you guys on this channel know that. And so I'm on here to tell you guys that already have that reconciliation and I want you to look and see his goodness because Satan's really going to try hard to have you look at everything that seems so scary. And it all does. But the thing is, is it doesn't matter. Think back to all the different times in your life that all of the scary things that were surrounding you should have mattered, but it didn't because God's plan for you was completely different than what you thought was going to be. My God has always been good to me in every situation, even when I was completely heartbroken. He's good all the time. And I forgot that. Well, I wasn't looking at it. I 
I didn't forget it. I just wasn't looking at it. And right now we need to be steadfast in looking at his goodness. And I mean, so many people will just be like, oh, just shut the news off. And, and it's true. Like I tried to I tried to shut media off, social media. That's why I, I shut a lot of YouTube off because, you know, like any even title from even a beloved or brother or sister in Christ on your channels, guys, even your titles would throw me into a panic. I had to shut it off. But the thing is, is that we are moving into a, a, a position now in life where we are making decisions based on what's going on. We are having to move our life, plan our life. There's no escaping this conversation. There's no just not thinking about it, okay? But the thing is, is we have to look at it seated in the heavenlies with Christ Jesus where we are. So we have to remove ourselves from this world as if we adhere to the rules of it. We don't anymore. We're seated with Christ above it. And so our fate is not determined by what the news and the statistics and what, the, what everyone wants to tell us. Our fate is decided by Christ Jesus, who loves us perfectly, okay? He doesn't love us the way we love, where we get angry at our loved ones and sometimes we're spiteful. Sometimes we do things because we're selfish or jealous or what. He's not like that towards us. He loves us perfectly, and he's perfectly good to us, guys. Look for his goodness everywhere. I'm sorry I took so long to get on here and tell you that. I just didn't want to be part of part of what was making me panic. And I know it's, you know, we have watchmen and it's their job. It's their job to show us what's going on. It's very crucial for non-believers, especially who are seeking right now. But for those of us who believe and are just tired, I pray that you're encouraged to know that our God is good forever. He's abounding in his goodness. And his love towards you is perfect. We shouldn't be scared. We should not be scared. We just have to look at him. So even when we're dealing with all of these situations that seem scary, we deal with them seated on high with Christ Jesus. So I love you guys so much. I apologize again for not coming on here sooner, um, but God's timing is perfect. And I will be back now more often with encouragement and um, with some good vibes for you guys. So I love you all so much. And yeah, I will talk to you soon.